I became an optometrist for obviously two reasons. Of course, I wanted to be in healthcare field, okay, and uh, I could have, the other choice would have been becoming a physician, okay, and my father was a physician, okay. So, the only thing is that I was afraid of blood, to be honest with you. I could not stand the sight of blood. I would faint if I saw it. And I knew in medicine, if you didn't see blood, you can't be a good doctor, right? You have to be Dracula for that reason, to know about the blood. So that, and then I liked, uh, you know, uh, taking care of him. And, you know, it's my father was a physician in a very small town, where in those days uh, you were everything. He was just a primary care physician. He delivered babies. He took care, and he will even uh, take care of people. You know, tooth problems, somebody is coming, having this. Eye problems, you know, the P1, they, he would prescribe glasses and, you know, mostly at that time for them. And I, even not even knowing anything about, about optometry and about eye care, actually helped in some times, you know, uh, in those days. And so that was even a little fascinating at that point. And that was sort of became a natural for me. And I knew that I can be in healthcare field, I can be a doctor. And at the same time, may not have to see blood, which was at that time, because now if you think of it, you do see some blood, a little bit. But now, of course, I've become older and my st heart has become a little stronger <laughs> to be able to uh, withstand some of the blood. Otherwise, I could not stand. So that's how my uh, beginning in optometry started. And then, it became, ever since then, it became a very great journey. So I was an optometrist uh, in India before I came here.